Well, good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you, and let me add my welcome to you all. I'm the assistant minister here, and as you heard, Steve is coming back next week, which is wonderful news. Um, but unfortunately, Steve is going to miss out on commissioning Hannah, and I get the privilege of doing that. Um, every weekday, I have an alarm that goes off on my phone, 10.02, to remind me of Luke chapter 10, verse 2, about praying for the Lord to send workers into the harvest, and I pray that. And so I can't really complain that the Lord has chosen to send Hannah uh, to a different harvest field. <laughs> I'll be trying to be more specific now that I really want the Lord to send people here to help us reach Calderwood. Um, but uh, it is not a surprise to me that Hannah has chosen this path and she's going up to the tops to serve an internship there. Because in the six or so months I have known Hannah, I have seen her work. <laughs> she's gonna do, I'm just emotional today, okay? You just have to um, look at that. Um, Hannah's been a wonderful partner in gospel ministry, so she has been a senior student at youth group and a, a big-hearted and inclusive leader who has really set the culture of the group um, with, together with Olivia. And I'm just so thankful um, for her leadership there. Um, again, with Olivia, they were helping at the Alpha course, so they came along and babysat, which really made such a huge difference uh, to the conversation that we were able to have at Alpha. Um, being involved in the youth takeover services and the music uh, ministry here and as well she's been volunteering in the Sunday program with Steve uh, so I've had the privilege of because I'm filling in for Steve um, being doing kids ministry with Hannah as well and so um, in the six months uh, which I know isn't very long but I have seen Hannah uh, use her gifts for the benefit of others which is the reason God gives us gifts they're not for us but they're for the church, and Hannah is a shining example of that. I'm so happy to come join me in the front. Can we please welcome Hannah? <laughs> so, <laughs> Hannah, um, could you please just start maybe by sharing with us how long you've been involved in this church community? Um, so, my friend Liz invited me um, to youth group in 2019, um, and I quickly became family there, and it was so good. Um, then I came to church a few months after, and yeah, so, what's that, like <laughs> five years, I think, yeah. And so you, uh, you finished school, so you did your HSC last year, and so could you tell us what the next step is for you? <laughs> so I'll be moving up to Stanwell Tops, um, which is like 50 minutes away. Um, I'll be living on site at the campsite, um, sharing a house with one of the other interns, so that'll be fun. Um, and then I'll rotate through all the different areas of work up there and study um, Christian studies up there as well. So, yeah. And it's actually a two-year internship, so what happens in the second year? Um, the first year, the first six months, you rotate through all the different um, work. So I'll be doing cooking and cleaning and programming and the outdoor stuff. And then after six months, you choose one job that you want to focus on. So then you do that work for the next one and a half years and keep doing the Christian studies through both years. So it's a really great internship. It's practical and you get the theology study as well. Um, so we're really glad that you are taking this step, even though it does mean leaving our community of faith. Um, what is it that you're looking forward to most? Um, I think I'm looking forward to the challenge of leaving everything I know, um, getting to know more people and trying new things and yeah, be challenged when I might be uncomfortable, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> And how can we be praying for you? Um, I guess just that I put my full trust in what God's doing and, yeah, just find my strength in Him when I'm scared or when I'm happy as well. Just, yeah, do it with Him. Well, we would love to pray for you and I would love anyone who sort of knows Hannah, I'd love if the youth group come down, youth leaders, and sort of surround Hannah, let her know um, how much we love you. We do send you with our love and our prayers, Hannah. And I've asked some of the youth group to pray, so um, Maddie is going to come and pray. You could pray first, Maddie. Nick, who's been a youth leader, second. And Liv, come and stand right here, Liv.
Lord, I pray that as you open this new door for Hannah, you also open her mind and her heart. I pray that you give her every opportunity to do good in your name. And finally, I thank you for Hannah, this amazing opportunity, and I pray that she'll bring new things that she learns and new experiences that she has and shares them with our church. God, I thank you for Hannah's continual service at Kids Church, just for the way that she's able to connect with the kids, for her high energy with us at youth, and just how kind she is. And I thank you for her bravery, for coming to church for the first time, for youth for the first time, coming to drastic and camps, and being able to move to the tops. That's crazy. Thanks so much. And I, and I pray that you help her be as much of a blessing there as she, as she is for us. Lord, we just want to thank you for Hannah, for who she is and everything she brings to youth, church, and her everyday life. We thank you for the joyous person she is and her ability to light up a room. As she steps into this new chapter and begins the internship, we pray that she does it all with an open heart and mind to get the most out of it learning more about who you are and who she is in Christ. We also pray that this next step, although it may be filled with fear and anxiety of the unknown, will hold, that an excitement and eagerness will be greater. We pray that you would guide Hannah and give her your peace as she embarks on this new journey. In Jesus' name, amen.